Roll. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax. 15 grand. The Outlaws coming to green for the third time at Kentucky's baddest bull ring for $15,000. And a one. Madden going to take the early race lead. Down the back straightaway. Pierce going to cross him over. He'll go to the inside. Pierce settles with second. Bronson and Shepard battle for third. Madden going to come around the lead lap one. And a turn number one. It's going to be the 44. Uh, Chris Madden leading the way. Down the back straightaway. Pierce right there on the rear of the 44 looking for the lead. Shepard and Bronson still side by side there for the third position. Off of corner number four. Give it to Brandon Shepard. He got a good... Good, got good momentum in the exit of turn number four there on the top side. The B5 takes third. Bronson runs in fourth with Tanner English in the top five. Shepard and Bronson on the top side. Now Pierce for the lead. Hoosier to Hoosier in one and two. Off a of quarter number two. Pierce digging down low. It's still Madden in 44. So it's Madden and Pierce battling for the top spot. The top two in outlaw point standings. Putting on a dynamite one. Now Pierce with a head of steam in a turn number one. Slide job for the lead. The smooth operator takes command. Right now, Pierce is going to get around, and the caution is out. Shane Clanton in 25 and turn two. Can get number one of 2023 with the Outlaws here as we're back to green. The 32 of Pierce leads us. Down the back straight away, Shepard going to take second from the 44 of Madden. Tanner English hangs on to fourth. Here comes Bronson and Chilton down the front straightaway. It's still Bobby Pierce. Shepard in second, oh, hit a little bit of something there, upset the car, washes up the track, and Madden back to his inside. That's the battle for the runner-up honors. Madden down low, Shepard up high. Tanner English follows in fourth. Madden with a slide job in four. The 44 muscles his way back to second, but it's Shepard still in third, back to his inside. Down the back, turn away, Shepard down low, looking for the second spot. It's still Madden in 44. 20 laps to go for the smooth operator. Three wide off of four. Bronson has trouble. Bronson in the 40B has trouble. A right rear down, and that all happened coming off of turn number four. Well, these drivers are way up there by the wall in turns three and four, and getting ready to rock and roll. 30 in, 20 laps to go for the smooth operator, Bobby Pierce. Shepard picked the bottom in the B5. He'll have second. Madden on the top side. Tanner English follows. Here comes Mike Marler for a top five. Threats the needle. Three wide down the back straightaway. Marler with a slide job on Tanner English. The 2018 Outlaw Champion on a tear. He's up to fourth from 22nd, up 18 positions. Oh, man, Colonel Sanders brought the urban spices because this is a tasty one. Him and Marler rolling here in this feature event. Marler going to go after the 44 of Madden. Oh, Mike Marler might be the most powerful late model on the planet right now. He'll get around Madden and drive away in a hurry. The 157 could possibly win this one. 16 laps to go. May have company here not too long, not too far from now as Shepard and Marler closing in in a hurry. Lead cut down to 6 tenths. David Brazil. Lap car that separates Pierce, and here comes Marler for second. Down the front straightaway, Marler to the inside. Side by side for the second spot in the inside of the exit. Turn number two, Mike Marler takes a second spot, but it's not going to count. The caution is out. Off of corner number four, Bobby Pierce leads us in 32. Down the back straightaway, Pierce going to drive away from the rest of the field, and here comes Marler. Marler goes after Shepard. Two outlaw champions going at it for second. Down the front straight away, Marler's got it officially. Shepard has third, and oh boy, Pierce gonna have his work cut out for him. Marler from the third and final transfer spot in last chance showdown number two to second. It's a seven-tenth of a second lead. Pierce running the bottom. Marler with a head of steam on the outside, and here comes the 157 after the 32 of Pierce. The 2018 Outlaw Champion in the inside from 22nd takes the lead. The crowd goes nuts. Pierce back to his inside. Does he have something left in the tank? Pierce and Marler side by side down the back straightaway. Marler takes the lead. He started in the last chance showdown, got the third and final transfer spot, started 22nd. And off of corner number four, he will conquer Kentucky's baddest bull ring, the 2018 Outlaw Champion. Mike Marler wins a thriller here at Ponderosa. Getting ready to climb out of the race car, his second of the season and 15th of his career for $15,000 from 22nd year winner, Mike Marler. Oh, what a 
celebration. That was dynamite. Hand a new house down to you. And there are few races that we get to cover here in a career like this that just give you chills. Watching those last couple laps was incredible. Where did this come from and how were you able to turn your night around like this? You know, my team never gives up, man. I got such such a great team and great sponsors. And my guys, you know, they uh, they don't they never quit quit on me. So I tried to never quit on them. I mean, you get down to the last couple laps, we get these cautions here, and you've got the leaders essentially in your sight. At what point in the race did you know that this was going to be an opportunity that you could capitalize on? Well, you know, you just never know. Uh, everything was lining up. You know, Kyle had that flat. Squirrel was having problems when I passed him. And, uh, you know, when it's your day, it's your day. And, and my guys gave me a really good car there. And I don't know what my problem was all night. I just could not get it turned and just for I don't know why. But it didn't feature a turn. So, uh, so yeah, it was uh, working really good. Josh uh, bailed in there and fixed my bumper. I bumped the U-tire there. And that's why we barely got out here for the eighth tonight. So, uh, man, I just uh, I got to thank, if I got to thank everybody. I, I got some you know, key people that really helped me, and Craig Lindsay and Rose watching tonight, you know, uh, you know, Josh and Jerry and, and my car owner Ronnie Delk and my wife Stacy and we got, you know, uh, Vern Paulson, I hope Vern's watching tonight, uh, Ed Petroff, uh, Capital Graphics, Bill Sign, Longhorn, uh, just uh, everybody that uh, makes us happy, you know, and all my family's here tonight. You know, my brother's coming out here. My dad's going to get a race of hobby stock. So it's always fun coming here. And I don't know, something gets me amped up, I guess. It just just worked. Man, we talk about the highs and the lows that come with racing. You somehow managed to experience both in one day. But a run like that and then a pass for the win in this situation for $15,000. I mean, how do you carry this forward? That's got to feel good. It feels awesome, you know. And uh, I'm 45 years old, and uh, I don't want to be that guy that lays down. I've just seen put her out in the parking lot as lay down. And I'm just what I'm going to start doing from here on out. If I wreck, I wreck. I hope, hope we get plenty of spare parts. But I just, you know, when your car is good, you can drive it hard. Uh, this racetrack just it provides, I mean, if you start in the back of anywhere and win, you got an awesome racetrack. I got to thank Brandon and Larry Yance and everybody, everybody, everybody they do here. And, you know, this race is uh, for the late Johnny Mulligan. You know, John's here tonight and Faye, his wife. Uh, John, Johnny Mulligan Plumbing was on my race car back in 2009-10. And trying times. And, you know, he come to help me. So, uh, so that's why it meant so much for me. I've been out on the road, you know, out west, and I wanted to come home so badly to run this race and be there for those guys. And I'm just glad it all worked out. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank my, my longtime supporter, Wayne Bowen. You know, I hope Wayne's here tonight somewhere. Uh, you know, between him and C.J. Rayburn and a couple other guys, I wouldn't have had a late model career. So uh, just so many great people in this area that's helped me through the years. And all you fans support me all through the years. Uh, <laughs> This is awesome, guys. I, I, I love each of I love all you guys. I'm so glad you could be here. And, and you know, it, it wouldn't be nothing without you guys. You know, when we had that COVID deal and no fans could come, I just parked my car. I didn't race for three months in the COVID deal because just nothing got me up about racing when there's no way there to watch, you know. So so you fans, uh, it takes all of us to have this race. And uh, hope there, I, hope, I hope all the rest of these races tonight are as good as that one. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.